Number four, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted Lowry acid, and then we have letter B. So in this case, we just have to show via a net ionic equation how pH4 plus acts as a bronsted Lowry acid. Now just as a little context, Bronsted and Lowry were two scientists that came up with this idea of what acids do in aqueous solutions. And acids always donate a proton or a hydronium ion. So the thing that we have to have, if you're going to donate a H, you need to have an H. And in this case, pH4 has four H's. So we're good to go. Now I wrote down a little bit, you know, down at the bottom, the little quick trick that you guys might want to memorize in order to go from an acid to a base. There's only two things that you have to do. An acid will always lose one hydrogen because it's going to donate it. And the overall charge is being deducted by one. So let's try it out. So pH four plus, and since we're talking about acids and bases, this is an aqueous solution. And pH 4 plus, that's not one of my strong acids. So I know it's going to be in equilibrium. I need to see those double arrows. And then I'm going to make up a base, right? But I always know that one hydrogen is going to get lost, which means that it's always going to be plus one hydrogen on the product side. Now you just basically write everything that's left over. Well, instead of four hydrogens, if one gets lost, there's going to be three left over. So I have P H three that's losing one hydrogen. And now all we got to do is just minus one from the overall charge in the upper right hand corner. There was a charge, right? There was a plus one. So plus one minus one, because you always minus one from an acid to a base plus one minus one is neutral. So I don't have to write anything in the upper right hand corner here, because generally if you don't see anything, it's always a zero charge. And now we are done. So this is your final balanced equation. And I'm just going to write that little AQ right here, because we got to be getting all those full credits, right guys? <laughs> So don't want to miss anything out. So this is your final net ionic equation. And yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. Thank you so much for reviewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to seeing you in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.